still for a second. Toothless is over here scratching her ear like, Hello all you wonderful people of Earth, or wherever you hail from. If you don't already know, I am Jose, and welcome to my channel. So the whole point of me making this channel, and I believe I addressed this the very first time I made my first video, was that I wanted this channel to be about what my afterlife was like after college, or basically what I'm doing after college. And to a certain extent, it has been like that, but I don't think I've shown enough of the process and what I've actually gone through. I've kind of just, you know, fucked around and a lot of like, I guess, fun stuff, not geared so much towards acting and the actor's life and all that other stuff. Because I mean, a majority of my friends know what that's like, but to the people that are subscribed and who aren't actors, like that was the whole point. So I kind of just wanted to, I guess, check in and let you guys know exactly what's going on as far as my acting career and all that. Because <laughs> honestly, I feel like it's gotten lost in the other stuff that I've been posting, which is not bad, but um, it was not it's not the point, it, where it wasn't the point of why I made this channel. <laughs> so right now, I am working a full-time job. Full-time means, yes, now I can provide for myself, I can pay rent, I can live with my fiance, we can plan our wedding and everything. However, when I got a full-time job, I did not, I guess, realized that I couldn't act much anymore. I had gotten hired and I was still auditioning because my schedule was different and I was in a different department. So I was able to have like three to four days out of the week that I could audition, I could do callbacks, I could call out and switch with someone else from another shift if I needed to. But then a chip shortage happened and I had to move to a different department and be lent out and the department that I came from was not doing so hot so I decided to stay at my current department and try to make a little bit more money so that I could you know keep saving keep paying off my car all that good stuff so now that I'm in a new department um, and I have been for the past like four months it has um, come with a different schedule now I work Monday through Friday and I work eight to 10 hour shifts, and I start in the middle of the day, and I end at the end of the day, it, at 12 a.m. to like 2 a.m. I quickly realized I really don't have a lot of time to audition anymore, or even take calls and try to audition or like submit myself for auditions. I found myself in this like, conundrum where okay I need to work in order to make money in order to you know survive but I want to you know do my thing I want to act I want to make uh, I want to keep doing cosplay I want to do all my artsy fartsy stuff but I need time for that and now that I'm working a full-time job I don't have time whereas when I was in a part-time job or even the position I was in before I had the time because I had like a different schedule it wasn't very like uh, business work days it was like alternating I have had to say no to calls from my agent and my manager I've had to miss auditions that I didn't even know I had because I literally am getting up texting my mom going to work coming home and falling asleep and then doing it all over again so I, I wasn't checking my emails or anything so I was finding out I had like these calls that um, people wanted me to submit to and I, I just missed it or I saw it like a little too late so the cutoffs like I couldn't extend it or anything it really hit me like really hard saying no and basically not being able to do it like I'm sad I honestly working a full-time job as awesome as it is like I mean <laughs> not awesome but 
as good as it feels to feel financially stable I talked about like all the time being financially stable and working hard to get financially stable it comes with a price and now I definitely feel it and I didn't know it would like this would be a consequence not being able to like you know do what I, I love to do or have a chance at it I've been on hold for months now because oof, I just don't have the time I feel really shitty about it um, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not trying to nope. I know things happen for a reason and God puts me on certain paths for a reason and I think this is all intentional of course like for my journey in life but it really really sucks going from not saying I was happy at my part-time jobs and I really didn't like working part-time and not having the money and feeling like I couldn't provide for myself or I wasn't gonna be able to have a wedding or anything like that or even buy a car going from having more freedom and part-time jobs without having the financial stability as opposed to having the financial stability but not having the time anymore for my art or for my passion like it like how do you find a middle ground and I think that's like really hard to do I'm not gonna lie if you find something or you're able to make money doing what you love then that's like that's everything um, and unfortunately with being an actor that's not always guaranteed and that's just that's the unfortunate part of being in that being in this business is it consistent is it not sometimes some years you're like just having a bad year and then some years like you're doing really well etc etc really where i'm at right now i'm very thankful for and i'm i'm very happy that i have everything that i need but i really 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 miss making things and being able to you know act and do what i like i, I love to do um i miss it a lot and i honestly i don't wish this like feeling on any of my friends on anyone who's graduated from school uh, god i'm getting emotional who's graduated from school feeling like god i can take on the world and i know i know the harsh reality of acting and everything so I didn't anticipate hitting like right away but I definitely wanted to work like I, I want to work in the field that I studied for in the field that I've been in since I was like nine years old like I want to do that um, so it hits really hard when this is the first time in my life where I haven't been able to and I feel like I'm in such a good place in my life to where it's like why can't I do that so it sucks and I don't wish it on anyone but I do wish financial stability for everybody like seriously because that's that's a whole problem and money makes the world go round so for those of you that did come to this channel to see what it's like being an actor after college and everything like that like I'm really sorry I haven't really shown you that experience and I should but right now I I got nothing and that's why I've devoted myself into making videos every week so I, I have something to do. I can practice my editing through these videos and I can, you know, come up with more of a plan to keep myself a little bit active. A little bit. Like, even if it's just being in front of a camera for like 30 minutes to an hour. I know, and I've talked to a lot of my friends about this, I know that I'm working hard now so I don't have to later. And that this time is like grind time basically and I'm finding it's very normal but it just sucks so if you ever find yourself in this kind of place like hang in there everyone's going through it more people are going through it than you think I feel like I rambled for a lot of that um so I apologize with that being said I'm sad now but I just wanted to do that quick little check-in I'm doing good but I'm not doing what I want to be doing I'm in a very like great place if you do like this video and you're still interested in my journey 
click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment if you'd like to interact with me. If you don't, that's fine. Feel free to share it with anyone who might be going through the same thing or who is thinking about going full time, etc. Don't know. Um, whatever you want, man. I will be coming back next week with a, a less sad video. <laughs> um, I promise I, I won't do anything sad next week. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.